What is up, my Butter Biscuits? In today's video, we're going to be talking about Manny MUA and Laura Lee's new collab. They're coming out with a full collection, or actually, they already came out with the full collection, which I do want to note, I found it to be a little bit weird and a little bit different, because as soon as they released their podcast, it was actually already available to purchase. I do feel like a lot of other brands, say, for example, if they're going to talk about something, they'll have a reveal, and then a week later, it'll come out. Actually, when they did their podcast, it was already available to purchase. Um, As far as my knowledge, though, I'm looking on LunarBeauty.com. Nothing has sold out so far, so I do still feel like it's okay to do a My Thoughts and Opinions video about this. Also, I find it to be just so ironic every single time that I go on a big trip and say, for example, you know what, pretty much just a cruise when I like, like don't really have internet service and it's hard to film because obviously the lighting's really bad. And on top of that too, you're on a boat. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody comes out with a big collection. Every single time I've been on a cruise now, Jeffree Star has come out with a collection. And I'm like, normally I would do a My Thoughts and Opinions video about it. And then on top of that too, when it comes down to a collection like this, which I feel like is really big, I would have liked to have done a My Thoughts and Opinions video about it uh, really quickly. However... I was on my trip. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do it now since it is not sold out. And I do have some thoughts and opinions about this. I was actually really excited when I did hear about this because recently I have been into the full coverage podcast. As you guys know, I do want to keep it real with you guys. Like I do, I don't know. I find that as a kind of like a breath of fresh air because if I'm keeping it really real, like their individual content, it doesn't really keep me engaged. Do you know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to the podcast, I really do like it. I want to say like I have really grown kind of like a love for Laura Lee as to where I feel like with Manny Amua, he kind of like holds back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he wants to say so much more, but I do feel like that cancellation has kind of scared him from fully opening up. I do feel like when you are on a podcast, you kind of just put yourself out there and don't be scared of like obviously being canceled because you're having open, raw, real conversations. And at the end of the day, some people aren't just going to mess with that. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like they're like he is a little bit apprehensive. But Laura Lee, y'all, I feel like she just lets it all out there and I really do like that side of her so I was excited to hear about this collection but with that being said I do have some thoughts and opinions about that so stay tuned for that make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up make sure you guys click the link down below head over to my second channel I have new videos coming out with my brother we have new videos coming out every Sunday and Wednesday now Wednesdays are going to be shorts they may be repetitive because they are going to be kind of like a short version of the long video I'm going to go back on my channel and make every single video into a short which can you guys believe that literally takes more time to do that than to edit the full video? Like say for example, if I have a 30 minute video on there, it could take me like, I don't know, maybe like four, four to eight hours to edit. And then y'all, when it comes down to a short, Whew. Like, say, for example, recently I just up uploaded the Kevin Hart um, Hart House video, which is his vegan restaurant. When it came down to editing that video because it was a car food review, it honestly took me maybe about three to four hours to edit. It was really quick, really easy. But then, y'all, to edit that short, it took me about eight hours. I was like, oh, my gosh, y'all. Converting long videos into shorts is so difficult. So, anyways, those will be coming out on Wednesday. Full videos will be coming out on Sunday. So, make sure you guys go subscribe over there. Give a thumbs up. Give a share. I would really appreciate it as well, too, over there. Because y'all got really good videos coming like really good ones i feel like over the past month they have been a little bit boring but good ones are definitely coming Anyways, let me not ramble. Let me shut up. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let me just go in order. I'm actually on LunarBeauty.com, but I did see on their podcast, they did say it is available for purchase on Laura Lee Los Angeles as well as Lunar Beauty. I'm going to be going in order. I do want to start off with this palette right here. It is $48. Now, I do want to say... I totally understand that Manny MUA and Laura Lee, they do have a little bit more of a neutral side. I did also say several times now, as I am getting older, I just don't see myself wearing vibrant colors like I used to. And honestly, y'all, as you guys know, over the past like year, I really haven't been doing my makeup fully. I literally just do brows and um, foundation and that's pretty much it. But when it comes down to even doing eyeshadows, I'm just not really so much into crazy color like I was a few years ago. With that being said, I do wanna say looking at this palette, don't get me wrong, it's a cute palette, but I just feel like things like this have been done 5,000 times. And if I'm keeping it real with you guys, I do feel like looking at this palette, it does look like something ColourPop would come out with. And I do feel like it just looks, I don't know. It just doesn't, I don't know. I was expecting it to be a little bit more, but then once again, I do totally understand that is their aesthetic, that is their vibe, and I do feel like it definitely does go with them. I think I was just hoping for something a little bit more. Like I said, do not get me wrong. I do feel like the color story is pretty. Would I use that color story? Absolutely. But would I go out of my way to purchase it? No, I wouldn't. And the reason for that being is because I have every single one of these colors. Also, that leads me into a question that I want to ask you guys is like, are you guys still purchasing so many eyeshadow palettes? Because I feel like this day and age, it has to be so difficult to try to think of something that's going to be creative to catch somebody's eye. Because say, for example, somebody like me who tends to be a little bit overcritical when it comes down to makeup only because I have so much of it, what is it going to 
it take to catch your eye? You know what I'm saying? Because like for me, for example, it's going to take a lot because I'm like, I look at this and I'm like, yeah, that is a pretty color story. And the shimmers look absolutely beautiful. The mattes look very usable and they do look pretty as well, too. But I'm like, y'all, I have every single one of those colors like I really do. And it is a pretty palette. But once again, I do feel like it is for somebody who is either a just going to be supporting Manny MUA and Laura Lee and kind of just like, you know, helping them out or B, they don't have a neutral tone palette because let's keep it real. These neutrals have been done before. I do want to say, though, these shimmers are really beautiful. They do look very shimmery. They do look very vibrant. And the colors are really beautiful. But I'm just kind of like, it's a little bit boring. It's just a little bit boring. I don't know. I just feel like, especially like all, the palettes that I've seen before of Laura Lee, I've seen like a lot, a lot of neutral stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like... I don't know. I just feel like it's been done before. And then on top of that, too, like looking at this picture right here, I'm just like, eh, it just looks a little bit boring. With that being said, like, would I use it? Yes, I would. You know, like I said, I do feel like it is a pretty color story. If you guys do not have neutral tones out there, I do think this is pretty. The swatches look beautiful as well, too. But it is definitely something that has been done several times before. And like I said, I can't get over the fact that this, to me, for some reason, does look like a color pop palette. I do not know why. Am I the only one that thinks that? Let me know down below. Also, do you guys find it to be a little bit like, I don't know, maybe I'm just curious about this. As you guys know, I'm like totally into the behind the scenes of the makeup. Whose lab do you think that they went with? Like looking at everything, I do have to say, I feel like this is Lunar Beauty. I do feel like they went with Manny MUA's lab to do everything. But how do you guys feel like it would go down? Say, for example, you and your best friend coming out with a makeup collection when you guys both have different labs. Like, would you guys play like rock, paper, scissors to see which lab you're going to go with? Because honestly, at the end of the day, you know that Manny MUA has to be like, you know what? I kind of like my lab better and maybe she's like i like my lab better you know what i mean or maybe laura lee and uh, lunar beauty is made at the same lab to begin with i don't really know but looking at everything looking at the aesthetic wise i don't know for some reason i get more lunar beauty vibes than i do laura lee anyways moving on right here this is the full fantasy blush palette for 35 dollars as you guys know i absolutely love the moon prism blush palette Y'all, I am obsessed with that palette. I feel like it is so beautiful. It is not too overly pigmented. It is not too underly pigmented. It is a really good blush palette, especially for the price point. And this right here is the same price point at $35. This one does have four blushes in it as well as two highlighters. I do want to say this does look beautiful, but... This is not the color story for me, only because I do love every single one on the Moon Prism. I hope it's called Moon Prism. For some reason, I always get the names mixed up mixed up on um, Lunar Beauty stuff. I For some reason, what is that? Like, oh my gosh, the face palette called the bronzy one. I literally forgot the name of that too. I'll just be forgetting everything, every single product. I don't know why. Anyways, this color story right here, though, I do feel like it is pretty, but not for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I do feel like there's probably, I would probably use like the top. Mm, I would probably use the top right shade and then the middle of peachy shade, which I do want to say. I do want to throw this out there. Did you guys find this to be a little bit, hmm, I don't know, a little bit questionable, but that he, they, he um, or they named it Peachy Keen because, y'all, when I was working at MAC, one of the, like, main selling blushes there was called Peachy Keen, which I know when it comes down to naming a product, there's, like, several different names, but I was like, oh, I wonder if that was inspired by Peachy Keen from MAC. If you guys like this color story, I definitely would recommend this, uh, the full fantasy blush, because I really do love uh, Lunar Beauty's blush palette. I feel like it's a great palette, especially for $35. That's really good. As you guys know, in my anti-hauls, I'll be talking about one individual blush. And sometimes one individual blush will be like $32. And I'm like, you can get a whole palette of six. Anyways, moving on right here. We have the Full Fantasy Lipstick Duo. As you guys know, I'm into nudes. So this right here looks cute to me. 20 bucks, not bad. $20 for two lipsticks. I feel like that's actually a really good deal. And I do like both of those shades. However, I do want to say, I feel like they are very, very similar. It may be in the lighting right here. It may be in the swatches. You see one that has a little bit more peachiness to it. And you see one that has a little bit more of a mauviness to it. Also, I do want to say too, when I was watching the full coverage podcast, Manny MUA kept saying, what, how did he pronounce it? He wouldn't pronounce it mauve. He would pronounce it like mauve, mauve. I think, I think that's how he's pronouncing it. Someone let me know down below if I've been pronouncing mauve wrong the whole entire time. Y'all, ever since I worked at Mac, then I, I literally have always called it mauve. Please let me know down below if I've been pronouncing it wrong because I was watching his podcast and I'm like, wait, he keeps calling it like move, move or mauve. No, I say mauve. He says like move. I don't know, whatever. He was saying it way different. I was like, am I saying that wrong? Because y'all, turns out I've been saying a lot of things wrong my whole entire life. Anyways, moving on right here, we do have the individual lipsticks. Um, I do want to say the packaging for this is 
super cute i love the ombreness on it i love that it's a nude ombre it is really really cute so these are the individual lipsticks right here for 14 dollars. i would definitely say it is obviously a way better deal to get the duo because that's only 20 bucks so for only six dollars more you get both of the lipsticks um and then we are going to go on to the full fantasy full collection i oh there we go right there sorry before we get into that i do want to talk about the brushes um this is for 70 dollars, and you do get oh, hold on one two three four five six brushes now, I do want to say this. If these are made from Lunar Beauty, obviously, I don't know. Maybe they're the same quality. I really don't. Like, I don't know if they come from Laura Lee. I've never tried any of her brushes before. The Lunar Beauty brushes are fantastic. Absolutely amazing. As you guys know, they sent me the... Um, Oh my gosh, what's the name? Have I been calling it Moon Prism this whole time? Oh my God, y'all. No, 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 it's called the Outer Dimension, right? The Outer Dimension Face Palette. They sent me that as well as the brush collection. I was like flabbergasted with the brushes. I was like, oh my gosh, these brushes are absolutely amazing. So if these are the same quality, 70 bucks may seem a little bit pricey, but the brushes are really, really good quality. Like I said, if they are Lunar Beauty, I don't know if they're like made from Lunar Beauty or if they're made from Laura Lee Los Angeles because I've never tried any of her brushes. But I do want to say Lunar Beauty brushes are amazing. So once again, that is available for $70 and then you do get the cute little makeup bag. Also, the brushes are um, available for purchase separately. I'm not going to talk about every single brush because obviously they're all right there inside of the um, full brush collection. And then I do want to talk about the full fantasy full collection, which is $130. $35. I do always feel like if you guys like every single product on the list, it's always better to get the full bundle because you do save money and y'all know me. I'm cheap and I feel like y'all, if I'm gonna save a dollar, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? Anyway, so you do get the blush palette, you do get the eyeshadow palette, you get the brush collection as well as you get the two lips. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the full collection right there. I do want to say, in my personal opinion, I really do enjoy full coverage podcast and I really do enjoy Manny Amiway and Laura Lee. This collection to me though, it's just not, it's not my favorite. I just, I don't know. I kind of was expecting a little bit more, but I do want to say it is obviously very on brand for them and it's very on brand for them to do a collab together and then make it neutral. You know what I'm saying? Because they primarily wear neutral tone stuff, which I do agree. But then also I do say, for example, like uh, Manny Amiway's palette, like Life's a Drag, because I do like how you have that like fun, crazy side and then you have that neutral side. I love a palette like that. So that way it can adhere to both audiences. You know what I'm saying? So you have everything like all into one palette. This to me is just, I don't know. It's kind of like neutral overload. You know what I mean? Anyways, but if you guys like it, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about it, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.